They just get it off. And Skyler Thompson harassed in the pocket already. Let's it go, and it's complete. Landry Weber was wide open and into LSU territory. A gain of 24. Ultimately ends up getting fooled. LSU bluffed the pressure, but still was able to get home because of a twist with Xavier Carter. And just as he escapes, he's able to find. It's an LSU recruiting class that Average fourth best in the country over the last three seasons. Thompson pressured again. Gets it out of the pocket to Malik Knowles, and he turns it upfield. Knowles to the goal line, left the football behind. He is in. Touchdown, Kansas State. Off the clock. Chris Kleiman knows how to win in the postseason. He's got a veteran quarterback, and Kansas State marches down the field to take a 7 0 lead on LSU. Second possession for Kansas State. And Skylar Thompson gets taken down from behind by B.J. Ojolari. See him at the, at the right side of your screen. He just does an excellent job of kind of getting skinny. A little rip move and trying to block him with a tight end. They need two. Play action. Thompson eludes pressure. And he picks up the Kansas State first down. Awesome play. They're trying to run Deuce Vaughn into the flat and get him. LSU's ready for it. And that is a remarkable job of winning in space. Three tight ends on the left side. Here's a toss. Vaughn. Touchdown. Kansas State. His 16th rushing touchdown of the season. And then Deuce Vaughn, the sophomore from Round Rock. Did the rest, K State. We don't have strong accents, and by the way, you cannot get on me about my accent because you got one too. Intercepted and taken away by Russ Yeast on a third and long Ouch. play. Certainly the state of Louisiana, but you know we're going to have to go outside a little bit. Houston's going to be a great recruiting area for us, but we'll, we'll have to go outside the state a little bit in certain areas as well. But it will be very familiar with me in terms of understanding my offense and what we want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Malik Knowles with his second touchdown catch of this game. Kansas State has opened up a healthy advantage. For Skyler Thompson to find Malik Knowles in the back of the end zone as the Wildcats are rolling. All right, Kevin, thanks. Lots of smiles for the K-State fans. They're 61-0, went up three touchdowns or more in the last 15 seasons. Kirkland. Corrals the snap and he turns it into a first down run. This is what his high school to coach told Kelsey. There's a lot of no, 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 yes, yes, yes in his game. Job of as he doesn't get the snap, he misses the handoff and so then he just follows the back. Fourth and two. Neighbors back on the sideline. John Trey Kirkland trying to be patient. He'll find some room on the edge. He's got a first down and he stays on his feet down about the 18 on a 15 yard scramble. Of it slowing down. Now, probably needs a little more awareness of the clock being at the end of the half, but ball in his hands. I'm always going to make the decisions that are best for the players, and that's certainly something we've seen so far, but this is an opportunity that means a lot to Coach Davis. On uh, second and 15, pressure coming. Kirkland unloading. End zone. Caught. Touchdown, LSU. It's Jare Jenkins who had the game winner against AM to get him to a ball. He sees them rotate back to the middle of the field at the bottom of your screen. You're just getting a go route versus single coverage. Catch, get the ball out on time because you're going to run out of room and give your wide receiver an opportunity to go up and make a play on the football. He does that. And Jure Jenkins does a good job of making a play on a football that was really pretty well thrown. That was a really good draw. You know what? It's bowl season, Tom. <laughs> Atkins with the kickoff. KC will have good field position after the flag. Here's Malik Knowles. He got to the outside and he got taken down by the kicker. Ah, uh, he had smooth sailing outside the numbers. Over the last 15 seasons. Four man rush. Thompson down the sideline and that is caught for a Kansas State first down. Five on the clock. Just does a good job of seeing it. And then it's also a nice job of stepping up in the pocket with the speed of the edge rushers. Dodgelari. And now second and five. Extra man coming for LSU. 
Thompson with a little fake pitch will buy some space and the veteran will get out of bounds after a first down run of 18. Won four FCS national championships in five seasons as a head man in North Dakota State. Here's Deuce Vaughn. Nice move. Touchdown K-State. Flags afterwards and we got guys going nose to nose. And that building was 70 30 Georgia fans kind of felt like a home field for him that went away quickly. Here's a big run for John Trey Kirkland and he takes it past the 45 on a 15 yard scamper by the quarterback slash wide receiver. Just a zone read defensive end. You know clamps down but. The ability to make somebody miss in the open. Guys have not always been talking about him, though. The cameras haven't always been there. He continues to work on his craft wow. year in and year out. What a catch by Phillip Brooks. You're nearly tight rope down the sideline. You got a guy like Vaughn that opens up the passing game, and it goes for 34. And you can't throw it any better than this. Skylar Thompson's got a post deep cross combination. Brooks is on the deep cross. And look at that, just the way he's able to drop that down. Perfectly thrown ball. Thompson pressured and throws it on the way down. Didn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Officials timeout for an injured defensive player. Cage is coming player. off the top of the screen oh. here, and just really don't get a hand on him. And Skyler Thompson's trying to do the right thing. But there's no doubt that having him in the lineup would have them more prepared at quarterback. Second and six, Kirkland going deep, intercepted. Picked off for the second time, and Ross Elder will take it up the K-State sideline. Coaches oftentimes, you know, I mean, head coaches for sure, you know, as the play comes to the sideline, guys go down. Wide open, Emmanuel Bebe, and it's a 26-yard gain for a guy who's been around the college game for a long time. He originally committed to Jim McElwain in 2015 of Florida. Actually has some pretty good speed. Long touchdowns against Nevada and TCU. There's Deuce Vaughn. Vaughn in a foot race. Nice high step, and he is chased down from behind by Darren Evans. They'll spot him at the two, 27-yard run. This dude can play. He can really play. And again, it's a downhill run. Just his vision and patience. And Thompson fires in zone. That's Vaughn, and it's another Kansas State touchdown. Two yard scoring strike. So as Chris Kleiman looks for a foundation for this Kansas State program, uh, yeah, you've got an All-American running back. And both, by the way, Adrian Martinez. Here goes Vaughn, past midfield. Deuce Vaughn down to the 20-yard line before he's finally taken down after a 48-yard scamper. Tackles and his ability and willingness to just hit it downhill. And then his speed kind of... You know, hard to find, hard to see in there. You identify players that are a fit with your program, and then you coach them up. Vaughn walks in. It's his third touchdown of the night. Three touchdown game, another 100-yard game, and Deuce Vaughn continues to climb the Kansas State record books. Single season yardage, career yardage. You know, it's hard when you're going up against a good football team. There's neighbors on the sweep trying to wait for something to open up and a flag on the play and he'll take it to the outside. Still on his feet. Nice strong run by neighbors. John Trey Kirkland from Lutcher, Louisiana, the quarterback. Boy, he's got guys coming down his face. Lobs in zone. It is caught. Touchdown Malik Neighbors. In the face of pressure, a 15-yard strike. About neighbors, freshman all SEC. Had a big game against AM late. 143 against ULM. And he's got a touchdown tonight. Came from John Trey Kirkland. This will be the first indoor loss for LSU in its last 11 games. Deep ball caught and an exclamation point for Chris Hilton Jr. on an 81 yard strike.
Touchdown is good. Freshman from By Zachary, Rose, Louisiana. The game is over. Takes a deep one and right at, the, right at the buzzer. What a way to finish it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.